President Trump says Iran is backing down after yesterday's airstrikes that did little damage. We suffered no casualties. All of our soldiers are safe, and only minimal damage was sustained at our military bases. The president addressed the nation this morning, and we carried it live. The next move, even more sanctions against Iran. Tenor on your side's Kayla Gaskins has been following the details and joins us live in the newsroom with reaction. Kayla. Yeah, in his speech from the White House this morning, President Trump backed away from calling for any more military action, taking a tone of diplomacy. The president offered to make a new deal with Iran. Rising tensions between the U.S. and Iran appear to be cooling down today after Iran's retaliatory strikes caused little damage and no casualties. The fact that we have this great military and equipment, however, does not mean we have to use it. We do not want to use it. The president said the U.S. would respond with increased economic sanctions. These powerful sanctions will remain until Iran changes its behavior. Leaders have dialed back rhetoric on both sides. Earlier today, Iran's foreign minister tweeted in part, We do not seek escalation or war, but will defend ourselves against any aggression. Iran appears to be standing down, which is a good thing for all parties concerned and a very good thing for the world. Today, President Trump also offered to reach a new deal with Iran. We must also make a deal that allows Iran to thrive and prosper and take advantage of its enormous untapped potential. In order to make a deal, though, President Trump said Iran has to give up its nuclear ambitions. Many Republicans in Congress are applauding the president's response to Iran's attack. Senator Richard Shelby from Alabama tweeted in part, I believe that President Trump was very presidential and showed leadership and purpose. Many Democrats remain concerned. Senator Cory Booker tweeted this evening, just stepped out of a 75-minute briefing regarding President Trump's military actions in Iraq. We provided no evidence of an imminent threat. I remain deeply skeptical that he had justification for this attack. And as of right now, Senator Kane, Senator Warner, as well as Representatives Loria and Scott have not commented on the president's speech today. I'm Kayla Gaskins. Turn on your side.